Any uh, beef you want to get started here on this podcast? Oh, we can gosh. we can make sure that it gets started. Any anything you want to say to oh, close Waleed. out? Well, he's been dying to start some beef. He's been talking about it in Bro, practice. Talk your, shit, Waleed. talk your shit, while he's talk your shit. Yeah, I've been I've been talking shit to Josh too, dude. And <laughs> then I got my ass kicked from the workout <laughs> <Yeah>. yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing about Waleed. He will talk shit to anyone. I respect it. He's got the most confidence in himself out of anyone. I really respect it. He talks yeah, shit to Josh every single day. It's hilarious. We are setting records for on the, the Beer amount, Mile podcast. For the amount that we sweat during that episode. We are always, we're always PRing here on the Beer Mile podcast. The most coffee I've had in an episode. <laughs> That's, that is the PR. The earliest episode we've ever recorded. Which is pretty funny because it wasn't even that early. It was 11 a.m. Our time, central time, 10, a, 10 a.m. for Waleed and Isaiah. So shout out to them for joining us for a coffee, yeah, coffee, coffee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, coffee. Wait, wait, it's wait. basically like the co- wait. What's that one podcast? We're called? like where the they, coffee club now. Drink, Yeah, we're like the do coffee they, club. Do they drink coffee on that though? They do. They always okay, do. Okay. They always do. Yeah. There's they, usually an afternoon coffee, but mm. we're more of a wake and bake kind of kind of group here. <laughs> wake and <laughs> wake and drink. Wake and grind. Grind, wake and, grind those wake beans and up. Bake. Isaiah and Waleed, this was a great man. This is a this is a good banter. This is a really good one. Yeah, good yeah. banter episode. The if two, you're looking, if you're looking for some shit talk, you'll you'll get it. You'll get it here. You'll get some. We got some good listener questions. As always, the listeners making these episodes hilarious. We got some inside scoop from a few former teammates, friends, acquaintances, acquaintances, <laughs> uh, mothers, fathers, daughters. Da- yeah. Oh no, a uh, baby daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Going the wrong way with that. But anyway, we got some good some good banner on this one with the two newest. Maybe is Devin newer technically? I don't really know. But I anyway. Mean they're basically brand new. Based they're they're all newbies, Isaiah and Waleed. Fun to talk to them today. They're they're hanging out in Albuquerque doing their altitude training and prepping for uh this coming Friday, the Lilac is what yeah, it's Yeah, Lilac called. Grand Prix. Yeah, the Union Athletics Club meet in Spokane. So Good shit. Good luck to them this upcoming weekend, and you're going to enjoy this one. Before we get into it, though, we got to, first of all, got to thank our newest patrons. Hell yeah. For making this show possible. Patrons, uh, patreon.com slash beer miles, where you can go to get uncut and uncensored uh, footage. Um, also be entered into exclusive giveaways. We'll send, we send everyone a little gift that signs up. So patreon.com slash beer miles, the place to be and did the discord as well. True. Discord. Also, um, next episode, we can probably talk about this episode too, but the truth or dab hot ones. Um, that's coming. That's going to be on Patreon. If you want to see Chris and I in pain, got to subscribe. That's right. So <laughs> shout out to our newest patrons. We got Alex Weeks, Nikki Atkins, Andrew, Emery is a writer. It's a writer. That's a cool name. <laughs> oh fuck! <Jesus. laughs> Did you just uh, take a hit of coffee or a hit of weed there, my guy? Oh, I went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> Gus, <laughs> Gus Kaiser, I'll try to get over this oh. background noise here. Gus Kaiser and Brian Garrido, thank you to all of you for joining us on Patreon. Um, you yeah. help us put out good shit. Um, yep. I think. I mean, you can even directly attribute them to. I mean, we're footing the bill for our new editing shit, so. That's right. You you help us up our game across the board. You know, cover all cover the equipment, um, and then we're also able to do things like this upcoming Friday. So our boys Isaiah and Walid are racing in Spokane, but right here in Chicago we have. Dude, I'm like kind of stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna be doing some coverage of the. Uh, Wisco is hosting a meet at the new indoor track in Chicago. Absolutely brand, insane like, facility. Brand new. Super nice. The future track of holding the American record in the mile, because yeah. Cooper Tier and Cole Hawker are going for that American uh, American record in the mile this Friday. We'll have uh, we'll have pre meet coverage with coaches live streamed on Thursday as athletes are making their way into the hotel. Uh, we'll have a live audience, live Q and A, post race interviews, post race interviews. Um, we'll have a dedicated media spot. Hopefully, uh, get to chat a little bit with uh, Bernard Lagat. Should be there. Yeah, Lagat's gonna. He's all. He's been a big fan of the Beer Mile Pod for quite a while. He's been hitting us up, and we're like, man, you're just like, you're, you know, you're retired. Like, <laughs> we, you know, you're just not relevant anymore, man. You can't, you can't be on the show. But, I. But maybe we'll let him on the show now. Oh, dude, I was so. I was like, explaining that to Jordan that like, oh, like, 
Bernard Lagat's going to be there. And she was like, who is that? I was like, fuck. <laughs> wow. Geez. It's like, how the fuck do you not know who Bernard Lagat? Well, I mean, like 99.999% of the world probably doesn't know. Who yeah. Yeah. But like, if you're, but, if you're yes. a runner, you're like, you, you I know. know I was going to say, I'm yeah. very shocked at that one. Cause he's been on, he was on the scene for like our entire upbringing and yeah. running so. and like even into like competing as uh like in, in master like he was still setting records yeah. for a long time but anyway this podcast is not about bernard legat he's not getting free airtime on this episode it will be at, this, at this the is wisconsin about, meet. this is about popping champagne with colin cooper when one of them breaks the american record or yeah. both of them when both of them break the yeah american record. yeah we're gonna manifest it right here um, so. and we'll have we'll have live post meet coverage hope i think we're gonna do it with with cooper so Beer Mile Media on YouTube. That's the place to go. Subscribe there and you will get all of the notifications for live streams. Send in blah, blah, blah. Send in questions or general banter during the live stream. We plan on having a laptop up with all the chats open and reading those. Yeah. And well, yeah, Adam can ask the the college coaches some inappropriate questions if you send them in. Hey, 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 (laughs) Mick Byrne, I heard. (laughs) Who is your sexiest athlete that you coach? (laughs) No, these Alberto won't be there. So we're not we're not having any. (laughs) We're not going to catch any cases. No, we're not. I like that shit talk on Alberta. I support that. Uh, I like that. That's good for the pod. You know, good for the pod, bad for Alberto sexual assaulting people. So canceled. (laughs) Don't do it, man. It's pretty pretty easy. Treat people with respect. No (laughs) means no. Don't put fingers in places they shouldn't be going. Oh my God. Other, other. uh, Unless (laughs) you're fingering the pulse of Manscaped. Let me tell you. Good transition. That was total flow. If you're watching the video, which you should be on Spotify, Spotify video versions, we're betas. We have beta access. No, we're not betas. Waleed confirmed today we're alphas. Yeah, I think so. Beta access on the video version on Spotify. You will see that I'm holding up a pair of my boxers. Don't make me put them on. Maybe I should put them on. No, for I this episode. Yeah. No. Wait. We, uh, we should get Jax to like smell it. Give a smell test. Yeah, too. smell, smell, smell <laughs> test. So I have worn these for three runs straight right now. And, and my, here, my wife is going to just smell, smell so good. <laughs> 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 no, but for real, manscaped.com. Been the supporter of this show for like six months now. Uh, thank We thank them for their support. And there's a reason we work with them because they have really good quality stuff that yeah. we actually use on a day-to-day basis. Everything especially they do, these boxers. Everything they do smells good from their body wash, shampoo, conditioner, cologne. I, okay, you know how sometimes we do unsolicited marketing advice coming at you. I think Manscaped should have candles. Can't, Manscaped can't with the same scent as the yeah. body wash. What yeah. you're going for? Yeah, I. It would work. Yeah, I think I think it's pretty manly to get into candles. I think Dude, that's a candles, very manly thing. Candles, uh, buy stock in Yankee Candle. I don't know if they're, public, <laughs> yeah. if they're publicly traded. Yankee they're Candle's not. just getting started. They're going <laughs> to sell double the number of candles next year. <laughs> so manscaped.com, use code BEERMILE, no space, just all one word, BEERMILE for 20% off and free worldwide shipping. At least get yourself some of these boxers. They're perfect under your half tights or your full tights when you're running. Keep the no boys. Chafe. Keep yeah. the family jewels secured. It's secured. No chafing, no odor. They're gonna release. Perfect. I heard they're gonna release a tripod edition too. Yeah, they they do have the XL XL edition um, where they they basically take the crotch here and they they extend it down um, down to the knees. Dude, okay, here's here's a here's <laughs> a, a fucking it's a thirty inch inseam. <laughs> all right, here's a, here's a TikTok idea for you. Um, oh God. All right, so <laughs> the TikTok it's just gonna have the header as. Um, <laughs> What what Waleed Solomon's uh, dick like day in the life of Waleed Solomon's dick and he, and he gets up from bed. I, it's just like a common TikTok thing. Uh, and he, you get up off of bed and it's just like the camera on bed. And then as soon as he starts walking, it just hits the, <laughs> it hits the floor and then the camera is just dragging behind him. <laughs> day in the life of Waleed Solomon's underwear or something like that. <laughs> Oh God, yeah. Stay tuned to hear about the origin story of the tripod name. It yeah. may or may not be related to anything that Adam just said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that does it for this intro. Let's uh, get into a good banter episode. Whew, let's do it, let's do it.
to start things off, uh, so Waleed, myself, Adam, we all got some coffee. This is the earliest podcast we've ever done. So wh- why are you guys up so early just chilling on a Saturday morning? What's going on? We got to go support Devin. He's running the 400 in like an hour and a half, two hours down at UNM. So <laughs> got you. Yeah. Got you. And you said it's a day off for you, Isaiah, right? Are you, you taking the day off running? Yeah, today's my day off. Lucky you. <laughs> what did you have today, Waleed? I have seven to nine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You do, no, doing day, s- no days off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. True, a true distance guy right there. Do you long run on Sundays? And so today's just lighter long day? Long run on Sundays. Yeah. Cool. So tomorrow I have, I think from 17 to 19. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Get, sounds fun. Yeah. Getting a big day. and <laughs> Love it. Yeah. How how long have you guys been in Albuquerque? Right now it's been um, coming close to five weeks, I think, if I'm not mistaken, or four weeks. So, um, and then we're leaving next Wednesday, heading up to Spokane. Yeah. Um, and yesterday I decided that I'm going to race, so I'm running the mile or the 15. Not really sure what event they're having right now. So, um, but yeah. And then Isaiah, I think, is running the, That's the lilac, sure. right? Yeah, lilac mm-hmm. Grand Prix. Dope. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm running the six there. Do you guys, do you guys know who's in your races from union? Like who you're facing off against? I think Craig is in mine. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, oh no. Charlie Hunter. Sorry. Okay. Charlie's going mile. Yeah. Yeah. So are you racing so, Donovan Isaiah is that is, or is Donovan gonna, uh, get out of racing? Dodged, it? Is yeah. it not, yeah. Is it not, is it not high enough profile of a meet for him? <laughs> I mean, Donovan's I'm pretty sure he's going to be in the race. I think they haven't released the, the, um, entries yet but yeah. pretty sure it'll be there his team's putting it on so they they kind of have to who would win in a dmr race between you guys and union do you think or i guess do, they technically only have three dudes right so maybe yeah maybe that doesn't work throw three throw a uh, craig nowak in there since he's been kind of training with them a oh, little true. bit who, who yeah, you guys got in a yeah, dmr a fourth yeah Dude, yeah we, we would destroy any any team we would take any pro <laughs> team <laughs> not, not just union. Any anyone who wants to smoke. Dave, yeah, Dave Bridges was was talking a lot of shit on Twitter. The Dave, other but would, day. would Dave Rivich even make the team for the DMR? Yeah, who would, you, who would you put up for your DMR? I feel like I don't think we were would. talking about this yesterday. Uh, Dave said that it's going to be Rivich on the twelve, uh, Josh in the mile, <laughs> Devin in the eight, or sorry, on the four, and I think it's Isaiah on the eight hundred. Okay, so um, so you you not you, Waleed. You're gonna well, they're gonna pick right now. Pick I Ribich over you. Am, Come on. I, I don't think I am currently fit to be on that team yet. Uh, okay. Just give me a few more weeks, and then I'll probably be like, I'll, I'll be there. We'll see the results next. What is it? Next Friday. So yeah. Okay. Okay. You gotta. Yeah. You'll have to have to show him what's up. So what are you racing, Dave? There or is he running a different event? I think he's running to three k. Three k. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. He's about to run something dirty. So. I just have a good feeling. <laughs> good stuff. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. So what's it been like so far with the Brooks piece is the newest. Well, Isaiah is the really new guy, but how, what's it, what's the transition <laughs> been like? Is it happy with your decision? Good team so far? I mean, I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, I finally have training partners and that's just like all I've needed in the past couple of years. Um, so yeah, the transition is going well. Danny's a good coach. It's fun hanging out with the guys, just like chilling. Like yesterday, we went to a brewery and I hung out. Um, so it's just a good, good environment, and yeah, it's going really smoothly so far. How about you, Walid? Um, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, it's it's kind of coming in from high school, uh, going to college, and college kind of like running with people who are like on the same level as fitness as I am. Uh, to coming here to a group where like I'm running, you know, with the bronze medalists and people who are constantly kicking my ass in workouts. I'm actually kind of like enjoying it in a way that it's like, you know, I'm looking forward to being on the same level of fitness as everybody else on the team here. Um, team dynamic is amazing and so on. And just, you know, a lot of good resources as well. And um, yeah, I've, I've been enjoying it. It's been like, what, three months right now. And it's been one hell of three months. So Yeah. Who else were you guys looking at for teams or I guess, or even considering training solo? Uh, start with you, Waleed. Who, who else were you looking at? For me, I... Uh, I talked to my agent a little bit before I signed, um, just kind of seeing like what's out there. And there's been a few offers here and there, but um, kind of Brooks is the one that like stood out. Um, and it's the one where kind of like Danny constantly like kept talking to me. And like, I felt like, you know, it feels good to be wanted by somebody. Um, and like, that's kind of like what Danny did. He like really wanted me to be part of his team. He like had this whole plan of like what he wants me to do in the next few years. And, 
Um, knowing that I got quite the range, you know, I could still run the 10K cross. He's like, let's try and like move into like 5K, 10K, maybe half later on in the year. So good stuff. Yeah. How about you, Isaiah? What did you have some other offers you were looking at? Yeah. For me, it was just between staying with Nike. Um, I guess I kind of had the option of staying with my college coach and staying at the like at Penn State volunteer coach, working with the team and the guys there. Um, I talked with DC a little bit, um, but it didn't really seem like they were, they're a group, but they don't really train together too much, which is not really what I wanted. Like I said, I, I really just wanted training partners. Um, so Brooks kind of had more of a team dynamic, which I really liked. So yeah, kind of made the decision pretty easy. So what's the, I guess, going to the West coast from the East coast and splitting time between like Seattle and Albuquerque now, uh, how, how has that been that transition? Is it a uh, culture shock at all? Or is it pretty good? <laughs> no, I mean, I've always liked the West coast a lot. Like I've wanted to live in Portland. Um, I would go there like at least once a year. I mean, whether for races or just visiting. So I've always liked it out there. I haven't actually been to Seattle yet. I move in in a week. So I've just been in Albuquerque at training camp and, I mean, it's been fun. It's nice to be just like locked in and focused with the guys and just everyone's fit. Everyone's just like, you know, dialed in right now, excited for racing. So it's been, it's been good. What about the athlete special leaving the team? Were you guys disappointed that you weren't going to be stars on the YouTube channel or, uh, or, or is that, or is that a net positive? <laughs> um, I mean, I've, I don't know. I think, I think Spencer was a good thing for the team. I think he got a lot of attention for the team. So I was definitely sad that he wasn't going to be around as much, but, um, yeah, I, I guess it's just a business move. I don't know. Wally, did you get a chance to like hang out with him at all? I didn't really, yeah. I wasn't I was so, never around when he was here. I'm, uh, I'm Ali O's roommate. So I see him all the time actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> but <laughs> so no, I mean, it's, it is, it is quite sad that he's not there just seeing like, his high energy and like how like he brings in like, you know, good vibes around the people that are around him. Um, not being like, you know, in the workouts and stuff like that is, you know, obviously sad. I didn't really get to see that. Um, but I'm still glad that I see him every now and then just showing up in the house and hear it him just screaming upstairs him and Allie. I don't know what the fuck they're doing, but yeah. <laughs> screaming in what way? <laughs> what? They're like constantly like they're like wrestling all the time. It's so like it's like I'm like in my room. Yeah, it's wrestling. Like, it's yeah, wrestling. I was just gonna say I was like, oh, I've walked in like, on my parents like, wrestling before. Oh, we're wrestling. I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> Wait, so so you're roommates with Allie, but you're not roommates with Spencer. Is that yeah, right? Spencer lives in, yeah, Spencer lives in a different house. <laughs> so but he's constantly in that house. Yeah, it's, 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 it's something. It's <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Why is it, yeah, why is Spencer not roommates with Allie at this point? What? <laughs> I, honestly, I feel like he should be, yeah. Yeah, that's. That's commitment, that's, man. I know. Yeah, that that's commitment. <laughs> Oh God. I've, I've one related to the DMR question. If, uh, if Brooks beast had to take on another team in a cage match, like no rules, you can, <laughs> I don't know, WWE style, who would you take on and why? Let me think this clearly. Uh, I feel like on. Oh, you, you want some on smoke? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, um, I'm trying to think. I mean, yeah, on smoke has been like, I, I wanted this for a while, to be honest with you. It's just like, I've throughout my whole college career, I like always loved like shitting on like a particular team. And that was Arkansas. Like I hate Arkansas, but I love their guys, you know, I hang out with them whenever, like I get the chance to do so and so on. And, but like, when it comes to the track is like, I like do my absolute best to like shit on them. Like <laughs> I cannot lose an Arkansas guy, period. Yeah. Um, I feel like that's, what's going to be like for me, you know, with on, like, I'm not, you know, friendly shitting on with them. Um, but yeah, but honestly, like, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like we could take them down. <laughs> so I don't know what Isaiah no. would say, but <laughs> I hope that guys are not going to be mad at me for saying this. Oh, come <laughs> on now. No. <laughs> uh, I think, first of all, we've got the bulkiest team out of any like program for sure. If you look at me, Kidder, Josh, Drew, like, I, I think we could take basically any of these these distance groups. I'm gonna say Union though because I think they'd put up the best fight just because they got Don. But mm -hmm. I don't think Craig could fight 
Craig doesn't look too scrappy. Dude, I, think, Charlie, I think Craig is about know, to like break a bottle and start using it as like a shiv <laughs> in the match. <laughs> That's what I see for Craig. Yeah, I, I feel it's like so Craig cool, is yeah. just like way too friendly and bubbly to get into that zone where he's just like pissed off. But yeah, Donovan would definitely have some quick hands and he's got some good reach too. So he'd be one to watch out for. True. Yeah, yeah. We'll give him that, but... He's not a killer. He doesn't have that killer mentality. I know he's not scrappy like that. <laughs> he, ain't, he ain't a beast for sure. No. <laughs> so who, who on who on the beast team? Who which of you guys is uh, like okay? You're you're doing a tag team against another squad. Like who are you? Who are the two guys that are gonna represent Brooks Beast for for a tag team? Kidder fight? and Drew. Kidder, yeah, Kidder and Drew are like yeah, dude. Like, well, I feel like that's just like that's it. It's like an 800 meter guy just in generally is just like bulkier than like a middle you know. 15 or like 5k person so when we were watching uh milrose it was even funny just to see josh uh like be able to push people around because yeah. he's just bigger than everyone <laughs> just making space on the track yeah like what the fuck is danny feeding these guys <laughs> <laughs> too many blue moons <laughs> hey whatever works when you were joining uh waleed when you were joining uh, Brooks Beast, was there ever any uh, issue raised around you like being in Westlot Westfly videos? Because when when we talked to Everett on the pod uh, like a month ago or a little over a month ago, whenever that was, he was saying that there was uh, potentially some beef with Dathan, someone he's trying to recruit for on, basically saying like get him out of the videos, and he didn't say who it was or anything. But I was curious if that ever came up in any of your discussions. And like, Waleed, you shouldn't be like associating yourself in these videos or, or if, anything, um, if that was a bad thing at all. From Danny, no. Um, the only person that I've gotten that from was Nathan. Um, and it wasn't literally a like, direct thing. It was like, someone came and he's like, hey, like, you know, blah, 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 said that you should probably like stay away from like the Westfly videos. And I was like, fuck, man. Like <laughs> I knew this thing was going to be an issue at some point, but I did not think that it's going to affect my career. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, It was, I mean, I still wanted to be in every video because like, it's like, I live with them. They're my roommates. They're my teammates. They're like my best friends. And like, how am I going to stay away from the videos? Like I'm going to have to be locked in my bedroom the whole time. Um, so there was still a few times where like, I'll show up in the back. I'd be like, yo, you got to cut that shit, bro. <laughs> like I can't do that. <laughs> um, but now looking back at it, I was like, honestly, I wish I like stayed in it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the only person that really like kind of said something about it. I don't even know why he said that. Like, I mean, I understand, like, <laughs> I know some people really hate it, but like at the end of the day, it's like, just a bunch of stupid college kids, you know, <laughs> like, right. 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 Um, and you, you were like yeah. front and center, like being the instigator on anything like, yeah i so definitely I, was not throwing a watermelon and hitting it with a baseball it. bat and saying that it's so personious <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah I don't, I don't know it may i guess hurts hurts your career in one hand but also maybe helps it if you know getting getting the exposure because like obviously getting in getting on youtube and getting a larger following from like high school college kids that's got to help you to some extent oh yeah any publicity is good publicity that's right. That's true. right. Especially in the running world. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. There, there's really not. Yeah. The running world, we like being in it, we feel like it's pretty big and like, oh my gosh, these people are so popular. But compared to yeah. any other sport or celebrities or anything else, it's like still really small in comparison. It's like, even if you got caught doping, I feel like your followers will still like go up. It's like, oh my God, this is actually because cool, you, like, you, you would show up in like, you know, you'd show up in news feeds then. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, so and so right. got caught doping. You finally oh, get a follow. Wikipedia page made for you because you finally got in the news or something <laughs> it's like isabel kiprop like i didn't follow him before but then as soon as i started seeing him tweeting every single day that he's innocent i was like man i'm gonna like start following this guy i, got, I gotta him. i gotta yeah. see if he is actually I gotta, innocent. I gotta follow him, you know <laughs> isaiah what did you think about the the west fly were, were you like a, a waleed fan before before you even met him because of that oh, or yeah. i guess maybe or did you did you have a longer history together no i, I love the west fly videos i'm all for that beef the track the track <laughs> needs that beef like, <laughs> i mean people are getting offended by it i just i think that's so soft like it's hilarious at the end of the day it's so funny the post milrose games uh where <laughs> where basically they're like the beef between on and brooks where they're like oh yeah on's just like we outclassed the brooks beast and then uh dave had a or no 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 um 
Josh had a reaction video on YouTube like that. We need more of that. It was funny as fuck. Oh, we yeah. Do. Yeah. We do. So good for the sport. It's, it's yeah, reminding yeah. me of Shalimo versus Lamont. Like that was so much fun. Like I got blocked by Shalimo on Instagram. I still am blocked. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Listen, dude, it's like the weirdest thing ever. I remember I like, I commented on one of his posts. He's like, I'm the lion and I'm running with chihuahuas or something like that. And basically he's saying, Oh, like I'm a couple time world medalist, whatever he is. And I was like, dude, if like, I kind of was like, man, if like he's saying that you're all this stuff, like, why don't you just act like it? And I got blocked because of that. <laughs> that hit too close to home. <laughs> yeah, I could could use a little more beef in general. Um, uh, every, I, I don't know. Everyone everyone seems to take so much offense to everything, though. Like uh, like the amount of people that got, I guess, on both sides, like the the your move centro thing, which was oh, like shit. I just thought that was funny. But then you yeah, you have half of people saying like these whatever self entitled kids that are talking <laughs> shit about their their Olympian blah blah blah. It's like it was just one comment. It, like yeah, get yeah, over the response same, to that was same really guys good. on Let's Run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's Let's Run definitely accentuates it a little bit. So Let's Run is oh, so yeah. much fun. I love <laughs> Let's Run. Dude, I go to like my English class and I'll just like open my laptop and I'm on Let's Run, just like reading and not even paying attention to class. <laughs> well, yeah, I know you post on there too under some fake names. I could, I definitely see you on there. What are some Dude, of your fake a, usernames? I actually did not. I, I never really posted anything, but there was this one thread one time. It, the caption was like. There's no way Waleed Solomon is 19 years old. He looked like he's 35. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like I don't know. It was like back of my freshman, uh, back of my freshman year. Just I guess people didn't really believe that I had an actual like birth certificate. But <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I, uh, I, I read one on there. Actually, our listener, one of our listeners sent a Let's Run thread about your nickname, um, the tripod. <laughs> <laughs> Self-proclaimed. Oh, no. oh did, he, did he post that under his own username? <laughs> I'm the tripod. I would not be surprised. <laughs> Yeah, no, I did not come up with that. I think it was Everett that came up with that. <laughs> or one of the guys. I don't know. It was like we're sitting. What was it? We were playing. Um, I think it was like a game called The Stick where you pass around a stick and then you ask a question, but it's like you whisper in somebody's ear and then the answer is like, should be somebody around the circle and you hand them the stick. Um, and I think Tripod like started then. I don't know what was the question or what was the whole thing, but yeah. <laughs> That was God. I don't, I feel like that's a soft that's a soft story. I was thinking this is like a like guys hitting the showers story is where I thought it was uh, coming coming from. I didn't know it was from a game. I don't, I don't think I should say any stories. I don't really want to get troubles with Brooks, you know. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> so that that was just a one time nickname that it's not a, or is this a like oh, it's Isaiah do you while. Is, Oh, okay. I was going to say, Isaiah, <laughs> yeah. is this what you know him by? Like, is this how he introduces himself? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, um, I'm pretty sure he he gave himself that title and he's just <laughs> making up some background story. <laughs> yeah, like we're playing some <laughs> game with the stick. Kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, run the fire. <laughs> Sounds a little <laughs> sus to me. I don't know. <laughs> My other name is Mandingo. <laughs> Ooh, from, <laughs> from how? <laughs> How, how did you get that one? Oh, oh. <laughs> no. I, I was gonna say you're like you're like one step away from changing your Instagram username to just at tripod. At tripod. <laughs> I mean, prefer to be yeah. not he him tripod. <laughs> In parentheses, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of of stories that we might not be allowed to tell, uh, Isaiah, we heard that you need to tell us about Old Town Scottsdale. Old Town Scottsdale. Who asked that? <laughs> <laughs> I think we could probably say he'd yeah, yeah, yeah. Bryce. Uh, Bryce. Bryce the Miler. First of all, going out with going out with Bryce is is hilarious. That man has two beers and his confidence soars through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking to every single ten in there, just no fucking fear. I was like, no, Hell yeah, I shoot your that. shot. I like that. I respect yeah. that. And if if you've been to Old Town Scottsdale, like there's some there's some good looking girls there <laughs> but what is this i mean uh, we can't get we can't get into it too much but yeah 
no charges were pressed. So, so we're good. No charges were pressed. Okay. We're good. <laughs> All right. We're good. Was this part of, were you in Scottsdale last winter? Like when basically every pro runner was training in Scottsdale, were you part of that group? Uh, yeah, I went down with, uh, Rob Ford and we were just okay. training down there for, for the winter. Yeah. Good stuff. That's a good spot. Good stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well then we got, we got one for right. Waleed too then. Uh, Waleed, oh, we, we need to know how much money you spent on beer in the summer of 2020 in Flagstaff. I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say I plead the fifth. <laughs> I'm not answering that. <laughs> I mean, it's so hard. There's so many breweries in Flag. Who's asking that question? <laughs> I mean, there's probably not that many people that would know know about that. So sure, there's we, only 12 people out there. So 12. Oh, okay. So it's one of 12. Yeah. Okay. So it's one of 12. Yeah. Well, we're gonna hide that source then. We'll we'll keep that, we'll keep that one confidential. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Well, I don't I don't even know where he was going with that one. That's a bummer. <laughs> All right, we, we got a we got another one from Everett here. So what 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 are you two? Uh, what's your involvement in the NFT space? Dude, I wish I knew anything about NFTs. <laughs> I same, wish I did. Same answer, dude. I literally like. There was one time I was like, all right, I'm gonna sit down and like understand this thing, and I was like, dude, it, this is just too much. Like, <laughs> I don't really know where to start. So there's no okay. There, I I figured there was something there where you guys you were working behind the scenes on like the Westfly NFT thing or something, but but nah, it it. Ever just like legitimately wants to know what you guys what you guys know about NFTs or something. <laughs> yeah, he's, vet, he's vetting them for the Westfly project. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should probably hit him up after this. Like, dude, make me some NFTs. Hopefully, it'll go up like in price later on. We'll see. <laughs> it can only. I mean, it can only go up as you start winning some races and whatever. You know, stocks yeah, only going to go up at this point. True. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that you can like buy like kind of like towns or like you make your own like nft town kind of i saw like snoop dog made something like that yeah oh god snoop dogs into <laughs> nfts what the fuck <laughs> what timeline are we living I, in i don't know <laughs> like i yeah i get the concept of nfts and like what it's all about but i would never spend money on it at this point i don't know like I, yeah i don't i can't get any value out of it i saw i saw one where they were supposed to donate i think like 50 percent of the trading volume to charity oh okay uh, and then the guy just like hopped on twitter was like actually the charity is gonna be my wallet fuck you guys <laughs> 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 just screwed everyone over. and everyone was like oh my god how could you do that it's like dude the, he, so many people could do that <laughs> oh my god uh isaiah we got another listener question for you someone wants to know if you're single I am single. Yes, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> oh all right. So someone, all right. someone's someone's happy right now. <laughs> I didn't even should, look up who that was. Actually. We should, yeah, we should charge money for that. I was gonna person. say you're gonna have to let me know who that one was. Yeah. <laughs> I'll I'll look after this. We don't we don't know. It might might be a one or a dude or something. We don't we don't know yet. So. <laughs> a one or a dude. <laughs> we'll let you know though. His pronouns might be he tripod. <laughs> 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 um another listener question advice this is probably relevant for both y'all since you're pretty quick uh advice for 800 meters um or breaking two in 800 meters for a high schooler yeah when did when did you guys both break two for the first time how old were you i think i was like 15 <laughs> 15 or 35 whatever <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Yeah, How old think, were you guys? I think I was around the same age, 14 okay. or 15 okay. as well. So like, okay. so, like sophomore in high school? Is that yeah, like sophomore is? in high school-ish. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, so yeah. yeah, so yeah. what's the advice for the high school kids that are trying to dip under two? I mean, honestly, just run, run mileage, run 20, 30 miles a week. And I feel like that, that should be enough. Like, <laughs> yeah, just do a lot it's of a 400 one. meter repeats. <laughs> Literally, that's all what got me there. Just do like 10 by 400 at like, I don't know, 70, 67, whatever you can handle and eat Chick-fil-A breakfast. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's so it is funny when people ask questions like that because the answer is just like, you know, train for a while, train consistently for a while and just get faster. <laughs> like yeah. it's not really yeah, any yeah. like secret, <laughs> secret sauce, you know. <laughs> do some twos, do some fours, do some mile, do some mileage, you know. Right. Did either of you um, were you like big into lifting or cross training before then, or was it just like base what you'd expect from a high school 
training schedule. We never lifted during track season. I don't know why, but our coach never made us lift. I played basketball in the winter. We do a little bit of lifting there, nothing crazy, just like some squats and some bench. We did not have like a actual strength coach. So none of us knew what we were doing, but yeah, for, for track, we never, we never lifted. And I think like, it was so your, important for, yeah, yeah, for training. Definitely important. Was your track coach um, supportive of you playing basketball? I know a few track uh, coaches who are like not fans. Yeah, of that. don't get don't get hurt. You better yeah, be doing winter yeah. mileage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they wanted me to do indoor track, but I was like, no. I mean, I I loved basketball, and that's like what I wanted to do in college originally. So I was like, I'm not giving this up for track. Like, I stay in shape for basketball. So I was like, this is my priority, not track. <laughs> in it, uh, you've come away with someone say, uh, who is it? Oh, Riley Masters said, uh, "You're the best athlete to ever come from Maine." So. Clearly something yeah, worked. I was, I was honored when he said that. That was yeah. awesome. How many people live in Maine? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Quiet down, Wally. Quiet down. <laughs> if somebody said that about me, I'd I'd like get that framed with like a picture For of real. Ryan For real. <laughs> And I, and I double checked it too. He said, he said specifically best athlete, not best runner. So he, he was, Damn. yeah, he's giving you props <laughs> on being multi-sport, which is pretty cool. I appreciate that. That's so, the guy. He's so why, why man. did you, why did basketball not work out then for you? You just ended up being a little bit better at running. So you went that route. Yeah. I mean, like what Wally said, how many people are in Maine? Like you don't get any, <laughs> any attention for basketball in Maine, but, um, tracks, one of those sports where it's like, if you run fast, coaches don't really need to see you in person they can just sure. see your times so it's a lot easier to get recruited basketball is one of those sports like football like you want to see the athletes yeah. play because i mean they could be playing against kids from Some northern scrubs Maine, yeah dropping 50 points a game <laughs> yeah it doesn't mean anything <laughs> it doesn't count yeah it's not the same yeah yeah what uh did you do anything else in growing up waleed any other sports um, I played soccer, um, uh, almost my whole life, basically until high school. But, um, and then, yeah, my, my coach was never really a big fan of me playing soccer. Cause I didn't really play for a team. I just like on Friday night, wherever me and my friends will go out and just play soccer. Um, <laughs> this one time I had a meet. So I was playing soccer with my friends on Saturday and next Friday I had a meet and, uh, my coach basically told me, he's like, you need to stop playing soccer. I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. But I still went and played. And like, I hurt my Achilles somehow. I don't know what happened. <laughs> was, like my right Achilles was just like so painful. And like Monday I get to school and I walk to his office like, Hey coach, like, I don't know what happened. I was like running up the stairs this morning. And like, I fell and overstretched my leg and my Achilles started hurting. He just looked at me and was like, do you not play soccer? I was like, no, man, like I haven't played soccer in months. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> like so this day like i don't know if he knows what the tr true story is <laughs> but like that was oh, the he's... last time i played soccer basically i was like fuck that i'm not doing this shit anymore <laughs> oh he's got he's got to know he's a he's yeah. a big beer mile podcast fan so he's gonna find out right <laughs> oh, now yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good stuff do you have uh do you follow uh like premier league or anything for for soccer actually one of the listeners asked who your favorite uh football team is Football. Uh, so I used to be a big Barcelona fan. Okay. Um, me and my dad just growing up. And then when I quit soccer because of running, I couldn't really watch because if I watch, I'd be like, man, I want to go out there and try it. Uh, like whatever new move or something like that. Um, so I stopped watching for a little. And then uh, one of my uh, teammates from Ole Miss, his name is uh, James. And uh, he's a Newcastle fan. And they're like the worst team on the league right now. So I am a Newcastle fan, just in case like they start rebuilding and then they win the championship. I'd be like, dude, like, oh, you're always there from on day one. You're buying you know, in when they're low. Yeah, that's, yeah, smart. So. yeah. <laughs> that's smart. That's <laughs> smart. What uh, Isaiah, how about on your side? What what other pro sports do you uh, like to follow? Basketball. Still basketball. basketball. Yeah. 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 What, favorite, what's your team? Celtics, baby. OK. Uh, OK. Good stuff. Uh, how yeah. about a listener wants to know? Uh, video games i i don't know i mean this is more adam's topic here he's a big play, video game guy i but play like one video game <laughs> you, but you play you play more video games than i do so sure. is this uh i feel like a lot of pro runners the thing to do when you're recovering during the day is to hit up hit up some video games is that what you guys got going um on your team too 
Yeah, I know Waleed's a big Dungeons and Dragons fan, so I don't know. Oh, I'm not yeah, a yeah, big yeah. Dungeons and Dragons fan. <laughs> I've only played like once, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude there's, a, there's a clear divide. We got people asking if Zay is single, and then Waleed's over here playing <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> we know he's single. <laughs> <laughs> what's that wait that's probably do you play with uh dave dave's a big uh D D fan right he yeah is, he is. yeah and yeah. i live with him in the house he's like <laughs> in this room right there um yeah we played every wednesday we just have our own little thing just going on and i don't know if i'll continue it or not but <laughs> yeah <laughs> so more than once though or is this just it, one twice one I just twice, played twice so far yeah twice. Okay, okay. two wednesdays in a row and that was it <laughs> All right, you're hooked. You can feel it. <laughs> What's uh other than yeah, like video what what does the team do uh in their downtime? Like how do y'all chill together? Do some like case races or anything or what are you guys into? <laughs> I guess that's in the fall. Um, <laughs> uh now honestly everyone's just like focused on training. Um and then if they have the chance to like go for dinner together or something like that. Like we did yesterday. We just went to a brewery and went and hung out. Like the whole team was there after we watched Drew run um, his race. Um, but yeah, other than that, I feel like everyone's going to like keep to themselves a little. Um, some people are like with their significant other and so on. Um, and some just playing video games like Isaiah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, right now we're kind of boring. Like everyone's, pretty boring because we're just like really ramping up training getting ready for like u.s champs and stuff so i mean you get home from practice and we live like 25 30 minutes away from practice every day so like mm. pretty long drive like we're up in the mountains there's not much to do like out here so you can't really just like casually like head into town and like just hang uh, out plus right. you're usually just like you're dead from practice so i don't know we're, we've been watching a lot of tv workaholics um yeah gaming <laughs> Like really, really, it's just like, it's, it's kind of a boring period of, of life, but like, you know, it's boring period of life, but exciting for races. Like all the good races are happening. Yeah. 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 Everyone's gearing up for indoor. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Good track and field spectating. So why, why do you guys stay so far outside of town? Is it just because that's where it's like cheap to get a big Airbnb house or what, why is that? Um, I mean, Albuquerque in general, I think it's pretty cheap for nice houses, but I don't, I don't know. Brooks just, uh, they treat us well. They, I mean, the house that we're in is, is super nice. Just like, in you know, a nice secluded area, like up in the mountains. I don't know if there's like a specific reason. I don't think like we're trying to stay higher cause we're really not that much higher than mm. we're like 500 feet higher than the other guys. But mm. yeah, it's just, it's just where they've been staying in this area, I guess for, for the past couple of years. I don't know. This is all still new to me. So I just kind of just <laughs> gone with the flow. Go, like, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Get get some extra hey five hundred feet some extra gains why not <laughs> so yeah, so Josh yeah, so Josh yeah. just stays in his own like bougie place then by himself is that is that the deal oh yeah he's got a sick is, yeah. penthouse downtown <laughs> um, I saw it the other day he's got like a full gym inside of his apartment it's sick oh damn, damn. okay <laughs> what facilities do you guys use when you're there do you guys have like a specific gym or using the university or what do you have access to. Um, we do have a specific gym. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, what's it called in, in, God, I forgot Elevate. what's it called. Elevate. There, there Elevate. it is. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. yeah. yeah. And it's like a bunch of like trainers who have worked with, a you know, other like UFC fighters from what I know, a couple like football players and baseball players. So, um, they're really well, they're very well known. Um, they know what they're doing. Um, you know, lifts <laughs> down in like in, in Seattle, like lifts will be like, you know, 20, 30 minutes, but here it's like up to like, 70 75 sometimes but like it's all quality stuff it's not like we're doing mm -hmm. too much but it's like we're focusing on the form and making sure that everything you're doing is you know correctly and that you're actually going to gain some benefit from it um which has been really nice and it's it's a luxury that i'm actually going to miss when we go back to seattle but um but yeah it's it's been nice and then for indoor track we just use the unm um and then for outdoor track is the exact same way university of new mexico uh very thankful for that um Cause we don't have that. I don't know what we'd be doing. So <laughs> yeah. <but right>. yeah. <laughs> and, and th so this wouldn't apply to Isaiah yet, but when you guys are in Seattle, are you all like, how far apart do you all live? Like, is it kind of a hassle to get together logistically or how does that work? It's close relatively. Um, okay. the only person that I know that live outside of Seattle is Isaac. 
but then everybody mm-hmm. else is close. He got a house kind of like close to me in a way. No, Devin, dude, Devin's house is apparently in West oh, Seattle. And Devin's he house is like an hour, hour drive to practice oh, every day. Oh my he God. signed a two year lease because he had no idea what he was doing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. That's brutal. That sounds horrible after you finish a workout to have to drive for an hour and get all stiff and stuff in the car. That I don't know. That sounds like not a good setup for, for training. <laughs> Yeah, that's Devin for you, though. You know Dude. Devin. He, he makes decisions like that. <laughs> <laughs> Love the guy, but... Dude, he's, he's probably commuting more than, like, the majority of Americans at this point. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. That's that Gas is, like, so expensive in Seattle. It's, like, 430 a gallon. <laughs> yeah. He's got he's to hop on the Brooks Beast uh, Tesla grind. That's yeah. right. I don't even get that good mileage either. I get, like... 13 miles per gallon. What the hell are you driving? Yeah. An, an RV? <laughs> no, I'm driving a Ford. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, is that bad? Really? Is that bad of mileage? Damn. Yeah, in the city, it's pretty bad. And then on the highway, I get like 20. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it's so bad. I like, I driven from Mississippi to Seattle, dude. It was so bad. <laughs> I spent so much money on gas. <laughs> hey man, it's tra- it's trail rated though. So. That's right. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys did you guys drive down to Albuquerque or did you fly down? Flew. Yeah. No, flew. flew. Okay. okay. Good. Yeah. I was gonna say that'd be that's that'd hike. be pretty miserable. Yeah. To yeah. Drive. I didn't, I didn't know only... if you would want your cars, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Danny's the only person that drove down here. But I think next time we come back up here, we should be like in April till June. I think some of the guys are probably planning on driving. I know David said he's planning on driving because he wants to bring his dog with him. So go figure. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> All right. We got some, uh, some clo- kind of closer, funny, oh, I kind of like, would you rathers, I guess? Well, not all would you rathers. They're good closers. Okay. Wait, do you want to, do you want to ask one first or should I, you can go for it. Okay. Let's, <laughs> we'll, we'll start not explicit. So <laughs> if you could, <laughs> if you could grow anything on trees, what would it be? Money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's so far off. So far <laughs> off. <laughs> what about you, Isaiah? Yeah, no, it's got to be money. I feel like what what else? What else would you say to that? It's got to be money. Yeah, true. I guess like you can't really grow anything unless there's something that you could grow that money can't buy. But time? Can you grow time on a tree? Probably not. I don't know. <laughs> can you grow? Yeah, more fitness deep on over tree? there. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that turned out to be a bad question. All right, all right. These are, <laughs> revive these are, it, revive it. These are questions that I write down either when I'm just like scrolling on TikTok or I'm like <laughs> drunk or it's like middle of the night. I'm like, this would be a good question. We we never like read them before. Um, all right, we got we to gotta go back to the, the go to tried and true. Um, who would you last longer with, Mike Tyson or Lana Rhodes? <laughs> See, that's a good question. That's way better than the last question. Uh, That's that's a tough one, too. I don't even know. (laughs) Probably Mike Tyson. Just run around the ring a little bit. There we go. Okay, I like that. Yeah. A good strategy. We got it. (laughs) <laughs> yeah i feel like it'd be like mike tyson because i feel like mike mike tyson is like he's a really nice person you know like if he punched me and like knocks me on i know he's gonna come up to you like sorry <laughs> sorry man sorry man it's part of the sorry, game man. you know, <laughs> you know? he'll be nice about it at least he'll probably go take me out and like all right grab dinner get a steak or whatever <laughs> but, you know i'll take yeah i'll, I'll take him <laughs> okay okay you're not going out to dinner with lana Oh, oh, no. <laughs> not gonna wine her first one dime it's rude. Well, it's, well, well, it's all about rude. efficiency <laughs> i'm getting the job done yeah mike mike now is all uh yeah he's all like happy and high all the time I yeah, like, he's yeah. just smoking <laughs> he's got his own uh weed brand now so i, I mean that's right yeah it's he's all, he's all peace that, yeah. now he's not about punching people out so <laughs> and yeah i don't i think he's probably lost a little bit of quickness with age too so you guys would be you guys would be able to bop around the ring and get away from him for a quite a while i don't know about that like. dude i saw this one video of him the other day while he's like you know bully gray beard and stuff dude he's still got the fucking punch dude yeah 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 I guess that, yeah. That, that level of talent doesn't go away if he gets, yeah. if he gets close to you that's danger zone for yeah. sure so she's like he like he leaned up too like he started actually like taking care of his body he's no longer fat so all right i'm gonna i'm gonna go with this bottom one okay, okay. so if you were stranded in antarctica in a little like igloo hut for a year who would you want to be stranded with one person 
Waleed. I'm choosing Waleed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dude, you were not even my first choice, second, or the tenth, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's so cool. <laughs> um, fuck, who would I choose? Um, Lana Rhodes. Got to be Lana Rhodes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, I'll choose her. All right, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got um, one. Go, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. I, I think I'll probably be with, um, geez, I should get mm, Jimmy Fox. Okay. Yeah. For, for and what reasons? Spending a year in an igloo with another guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That kind of does sound pretty bad actually. Shit. Well, you said you wanted to spin it with me. What the fuck are you trying to say? <laughs> He saw he saw the transition picture that we posted on TikTok. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> she looked fine. Okay, that one, dude, even if I was completely black out, I would still put a fucking bag over my face, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. I don't know what you were thinking, man. Five right. years. All right, what what uh we were just talking, what team should we do? We're gonna do the reverse where we take a bunch of girls and make them into dudes. What team do you think would be good for that? Um, I feel like if I set team something, boss, yeah, I was gonna boss, say you gotta yeah. do team boss. Yeah, yeah. boss would be good. We'll, yeah. we'll do that after this. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but see, we need like we we need uh we need some. You need we need to be drunk before, right? Well, ideally drunk, but also like we need like David Melly or some girls to to do that True. with us. You know, True. like we need some. So it doesn't look like we're too gay. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, okay. Okay. I know what you're trying to say. (laughs) Okay, okay. (laughs) I got you. So wait, okay. So go one. I got to go back to Jamie Foxx real quick. So are you just like trying to get some like wisdom, and you think it'd be entertaining? Is that the deal? Yeah, honestly, that's all what I need. Just somebody to like entertain with. Yeah, yeah. Just laugh. I think only way to get through that, I feel like I don't want to live in Antarctica. I'm black. Yeah. What am I? Gonna, what am I gonna do there? There's like nowhere to run. <laughs> no electricity or Wi-Fi. What's going shit. on? <laughs> All right, last one. Um, would you rather be stressed out and on time, or relaxed and late? I'm always stressed out and late. <laughs> what? <laughs> the worst of both. <laughs> you gotta pick one. Um, then. Maybe that's your. Uh, maybe that's your problem. Relaxed now. and late. You got. I guess. Yeah. I guess if you're always late, anyways, you just you gotta just start be relaxed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going. I'm going with relaxed and late too. I think my personality is more so just just relaxed, anyways. True. I, I feel like I, no, my, no. I know. Like my whole family is always trying to be on time, and I'm just like the one anomaly because I was probably adopted or something, you know, and. <laughs> I just decided that because I'm always stressed and late, I'm I'm just gonna stop caring. Because you're always stressed and late. Yeah, now I'm just relaxed and late. <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I mean the family's not a fan, but like it's. I know cool I'm gonna be late, so might as well just fuck say it. fuck it. I don't yeah, care. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, it'll, it, I mean that's that's life advice. I think. <laughs> um, I, okay, there were. I remember there were two more listener questions specific to to races. So someone wanted to know, Walid, from you, what was it like getting third at NCAA's? Felt like I was getting stabbed in the heart, man. <laughs> Fuck yeah, <it> <laughs> it was so bad. I wanted to win so bad. I. It's also because like, I feel like it was my first outdoor final. Um, I struggled a bit before that. Where like. I'd get to NCAs, but like, I have the feeling that like, I didn't belong there. Um, and I had to like see a sports psychologist with the whole thing just to kind of figure it out. But like not having junior year because of COVID and then like jumping immediately to senior year and like finding myself there was like, all right, like I don't really have the experience of what to do here. Um, especially that I'm like racing the goose and Cole Hawker, like, you know, like I, I've, I've never raced him before. Um, and like, figure out that tactically where I can start moving, where I know they're not going to be able to move. Like, I just didn't know all of that. So it's like, I hear the, like, you know, the bell, it's like the last lap and I'm like hammering it in and like 300 to go, I'm leading, but then like 200 to go, I'm like third already. (laughs) So, um, yeah, it sucked. I wish, I wish I like, I wish I have another year in the NCA, but, um, at the end of the day, this was like the better choice for me right now. So, for sure. Yeah, it sucked. I would have loved to win. I really wanted to win. <laughs> yeah. 
And and for you, Isaiah, what was it like dunking on everyone at Gateshead? <laughs> that was a good feeling. That was a good feeling. There, there was a couple people in that race that, that I needed to beat. So, yeah, it's a good feeling for sure. Plus... <laughs> The diamond, the diamond league pays well. So that's, that's another good feeling. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You, do, so do you, okay. Do you make more money per year? Do you expect to make more money per year off prize money or off your salary with Brooks? Um, salary. And then okay. yeah, prize money is kind of just, just bonus bonus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, some money, yeah. some, some money to spend in, I guess for Waleed to spend in Flagstaff on beer for Isaiah to spend in <laughs> old town Scottsdale on beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, good geez. shit. Do you, uh, what, do you guys have anything you want to plug or I don't know, any, uh, beef you want to get started here on this podcast? Oh, we can, gosh. we can make sure that it gets started. Any, anything you want to say to oh, close Waleed. out? Well, he's been dying to start some beef. He's been talking about it in Bro, practice. Talk that's your the shit while he's talk your shit. Yeah, I've been I've been talking shit to Josh too, dude. And then I got my ass kicked from the workout <laughs> yeah. yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing about Waleed. He will talk shit to anyone. I respect it. He's got the most confidence in himself out of anyone. I really respect it. He talks yeah, shit to Josh every single day. It's hilarious. Uh, we, need, we need a mic'd up at practice with Waleed and Josh. See, that's that why we funny. need the athlete special oh, still there because we need true. this on camera. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I feel like Josh is – that's the thing is like I'm always like – I tried to like shit on him, but at the end of the day, he just always pull out the receipts and he's like, what's your PR again? I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, dude, I ran that when I was like 17 and now you're still running 36, like 336 to 23. I was like, bro, like, fuck. <laughs> How, what can I say to this? You know? <laughs> so, so, um, no, so no one, no one's got beef to talk. Or, or oh, advice to, or advice to give yeah, or, uh, words, or words of wisdom to plug. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> shit. Don't Fuck, talk shit. To I'm not Josh fish, so I don't know who to talk shit to. <laughs> uh, I feel like I just stick beyond, like still beyond. I mean, that's just, I mean, it already started. I might as well just continue it. You know, there we go. I, I say, like I say we blow up this, this DMR thing and we try I think to make we should, it, make yeah, it a big that would deal. be fucking fun. That would be really on his honest hosting pen relays too. That would oh. be a good opportunity. Let's go put a DMR together there for sure. Yeah, I, there needs to be way more DMRs and relay races between pro teams in general. Do you know I just that? think that'd be yeah. so hype for, or even like a end of meet four by four or something, just to like that? get some team team competition. Now that we're homies with uh, the Gately Track and Field Center people at in Chicago, maybe we could get them to do some some beef matches between pro teams. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be that'd fun. Be like pretty, a that would be a just lot like an exhibition now. meet. Yeah, yeah, totally. Just like straight, yeah, straight relays like. Maybe a yeah DMR. I don't know. You could just like, yeah even just have a DMR. Be yeah, great. Yeah, and then a four by four by four mile, four by eight. All that stuff would be pretty. Four sick. by mile would be big. Dude, yeah, my favorite mixed, four by mile race. A mixed is, four by four too would be good. Those, Hell are, yeah. those are fun. Hell yeah, dude. The four by mile at Penn Relays in twenty fifteen. I think it was with Cheserac and uh, dude, yes, dude. That was such a good race oh my god yeah. i remember people were like booing i'm like what are you booing for this is exciting this is yeah. it's better yeah i, yeah. I don't want to just see Cheserick just like keep the lead and just whatever yeah. run away from everyone like it was way more entertaining i've watched that <laughs> race probably five to ten times at least it's yeah. such a good race one yeah. of those races that are free by flow track <laughs> yeah <laughs> is anyone even like is anyone on flow track anymore like i haven't heard anything about them in a minute no, they're, I, I really more, wonder how they make. I mean, they make money. Who's paying for that subscription? That's what I want to know. True. More, they've moved oh, more into like the broadcast. Yeah, I uh, guess as that, opposed it, to like uploading. They're go, I think they're going for the like the the parents of the high school kids at like the AAU meet or like the small college meet that are just like, I want to see my kid run. So yeah. I'm gonna buy this subscription. I feel like that's how they make their money. Because yeah, they're. Yeah. It's not like quality race coverage and they just like throw up a bunch of like weird videos. I don't Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're in like, the they clickbait game cover, now. Yeah. They used to cover like NCAA cross and it was shit. But now like whoever is like the new person that's like whatever new company is doing it right now, it is so nice with like all the drones and stuff like that. The, yeah, the live scoreboards on our live splits, like drone footage. Yeah. yeah, it's way better. Their visuals are sick too. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, out with out with flow track short definitely shorting flow oh, track. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Awesome, okay. fellas. Well, thanks for thanks for coming on. Thanks for joining us. We'll have to make this happen in person someday and oh, yeah. um, get even more banter going. But in Flagstaff, yeah, and let's yeah. go in Flagstaff. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Yeah, sh- shout out, shout out to Devin. Hope he has a good one today racing oh, too. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yep. I was running the 400, so it's kind of his, his bread and butter. That's good. Yeah, I think he's a 400 be... guy who who runs the A once in a while, but he doesn't want to admit it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> are, are you are you nervous, Isaiah? Him bumping up to the eight and just crushing it? No, I'm excited. <laughs> I mean, he's yeah, he's yeah. just a good guy, so and and he's my teammate now, so gives me a reason to root for him. That's but, right. That's right. Yeah. We'll push each other. Good stuff. All right. Well, thank Thanks for coming on fellas. Have a, have a fun weekend. Don't, don't have too much fun, but have a, have a good one. <laughs> <laughs> thanks guys. Thank you guys. Take care. Appreciate Cheers. It. Bye. See ya.